We just made the easiest tabletop signpost and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, Builder to make it? So do we. We have new videos each week. This week's gonna be a good one. We're making tiny tabletop signposts, like our big porch post, but we're gonna shrink it down so it'll sit on a table. We've been making these 10 inch rounds that we've been taking to breweries and things where we want to do a little workshop, but we don't have a ton of space. And we're bringing these 10 inch signs. We're also taking them to craft shows and I want a great way to display them. We've been using this little stand here, which has been fine, but I want something with a little more pizzazz to it. Something a little cuter. So our original thought is to make it laser cut. We'll probably use some quarter inch MDF, but we were afraid that with those multiple layers on the sign, eventually it would get droopy. Even if we use some braces and backers, I still think it would get droopy and floppy and wouldn't look good over time. Well, and I couldn't come up with a design, a braced design that really gave the look and feel that I was going for. So we think we came up with a better design and this design includes our old friends, Pocket and Brad. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We weren't sure what we needed. We had an idea of what we wanted. So we decided to take a trip over to the local hardware store. Yeah, we had to do some real time gathering of some supplies. We started in the dowel section because we knew we needed the post. And we found this great two by two by 12 inch post. This is perfect. This is kind of the mini version of the four by four that we used in our last project. And then while we were there, we were looking for a finial. We knew we needed something to go on top. And last time we used a sofa foot and we found this perfect little sofa foot that we think is gonna be the right size. We're really not sure. We're, we're, we're working on this. This is real time gathering here. From there, we went over to- The what? decking section? Yeah, the decking section. And we looked for some post caps. We found these little post caps they're four by fours, but when I set them up to the post here, it looks perfect. I think yeah. they're gonna be great. And you know what? I like these post caps better than trying to do my own trim around the little two by two piece. Yeah, we don't, yeah, <laughs> tiny little trim. <laughs> we thought these bases might be a little too uh, thin though, or not wide enough to hold the sign. So we got us a half inch board. And what, two feet? So I'm just gonna make it a little bit wider than the post caps. And I think that's gonna make a sturdy base to hold the 10 inch sign. Now what we couldn't find was the perfect hook. So I had to talk Garrett into heading over to the Hobby Lobby and finding the perfect little hook. Cause well, they have I know a they section. have a great section for yeah. those hooks. I can spend <laughs> all day in that section. So we found this perfect little hook. It's just small enough to fit on a post. And then I went over to their dowel section and where they have all of their little finials. And we found a couple of more things that I thought we could use. Go ahead, what do you got there? I don't know. It is a finial. It is just a tinier version of the finial. So we've got the large one and we've got the small one. Oh, so that's an actual finial? Yeah, and look, look, I, he's not buying that this is called a finial. What does that say? Curtain? Oh, finial. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a small one, I have a large one. We're gonna see which one looks the best at the end. And then I also found these little 20 doll pin stands. And I think that Garrett's wearing on his fingers. I think they're gonna be feet for this thing. It's gonna give it just a little more height so that that 10 inch stand uh, has just room to a hang. Just more class, just and a little then, more class. Yeah, and then classes it up maybe just a little bit. I will need some uh, wood glue, some paint, stain, and some brat nails. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I should have just said cut because we're making one cut. This is a half by six inch, so it's actually five and a half inches wide. So we're gonna cut it at five and a half inches. Make it square. Yeah, I thought we were gonna to have to cut a dowel down, but because we found this at exactly 12 inches and these are already cut, I think there's only one cut in this project. Just one cut. And I bet you could find something that's a five by five. Oh like, yeah. This is what we I'm sure found. if you look a little harder, you can find it. And we're gonna make all of our cuts with my buddy pocket saw. Who always makes a grand entrance with all of that? Why are you so dust tiny? Everywhere? I keep them in my back pocket, <laughs> right next to my wallet. <laughs> Safety first, Cap. Step 
three. Now we paint and stain. We're actually gonna stain, then paint, and then distress. Right, we're gonna do this kind of like we did our other one, uh, because I like the look of that one. So we're gonna stain everything first and let it dry a little bit, and then we're gonna paint everything with a, with a coat of white. White, I think white. Yeah, and then once the white paint is dry, we're gonna sand it, so. We're gonna hit the corners and stuff to make it look worn. Little distressed. Like this this thing's seen some things, been around town. This is not new. It's not, it's not new, I found this out back. I thought I did that, I mean, I shook it. We're not all professional paint shakers, Tim. Right? You're like the machine over there. Why are you shaking it upside down? Please flip it over. <sighs> well, I was trying to get all the stuff off the bottom. Oh I think it's done. That was very stressful. Stain's all dry. Now we're just gonna give it a coat of white paint. We're gonna use Foxy Hughes Ash Avenger and give everything a thin coat of white paint. All of our pieces are now dry. Some of our pieces have 72 coats on them. When I wasn't looking, Garrett kept coming in and putting additional coats on this finial. So. I didn't know it was supposed to be a one coat pony. Well, there's two coats on everything. I did just put two coats on it um, because I want to distress it. I'm gonna give it that distressed look. So I'm gonna need, uh, I don't want too many layers of paint. I wanna be able to get some of the paint off. I'll get the paint off. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do with that. I'll get the paint off. That looks like bedroom furniture. It looks great. I did a good job. You did? <laughs> you did. The great thing about these, um, what is it? Post, post caps? Yeah. Is that they already have a hole drilled in it. So this bun foot should be able to pretty much screw right in there. Or I think will so. you need to I'm gonna try to ram it in there. Just gonna ram jam it right in there. Ram jam right in there. Look at that. Really found that at an antique shop. I'm satisfied. I was walking by the by a parking lot and I was like, ooh, what's that? It's a gem. Gonna keep it, put that right in your pocket. Put it right in my pocket. <laughs> Find a sofa foot, pick it up all day long. Good luck. All right, nice, nice. Step four, time to assemble it. We're gonna bring it all together with a little bit of wood glue and an inch and a quarter brad. The nail, not the guy. We're gonna start from the bottom and work our way up. So first we're gonna attach our feet onto the little board. Now we're gonna do this, we're, we're playing this by ear. Now I'm gonna use both star bond and wood glue only because I want to continue to build this for video purposes. You would just use the wood glue, I think. The star bond isn't gonna hold it a long time, but it might make it an immediate bond so that I can keep building. Keep, keep it moving, keep it moving, Kim. So I'm gonna put a little on the inside here and now I'm gonna add the wood glue to each of these. You want them right up to the edge when you start placing them? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much right up to the edge. Yeah. 
Great. Yeah, just slide that out of the way. I'm gonna set that aside. This is the bottom one? While we start building this. This is gonna be the bottom one? Yes, that's the bottom one. Right. So we'll throw some glue up on here. Now this, we're gonna use the nail to kind of hold it temporarily. We won't need the super glue here. Star bond. Does that look centered? Absolutely not. <laughs> I was gonna say, now how are you gonna center that? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Flip it this way. Look good? Looks good? That looks good. All right, you think I can flip it? I think maybe. I'll slide it to the edge. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Don't do it. Did it slide? No. I think it's perfect. Yeah. Ours ends up crooked. It's all Kim's fault. <laughs> do the do Don't do it our way. That's not going anywhere. All right, let's do the other skin. Stuff. Now, is this going this way or this way? Um, we talked about it, you and I, and I think we decided to do it the other way. That way? Not that way. Do you think it should go that way? This way? Yeah. Or this way? This way? Or this way? This way, maybe. Uh -oh. Is that what we just said? Mm. I'm confused now. I did it too many times. <laughs> Um, we had decided when we did this before, we played this game earlier, to go this way because of the finial. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I mean, either way looks great. And I think maybe it would depend on what finial you're using. But I think there are lots of options here. So if you make this, you're gonna have to send us a picture, let us know. What, what, wait, wait, what's happening here? I'm setting it in there. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. Does that look even everywhere? Yes. Um, use the old finger measure. <laughs> the old finger measure. Does it feel about right? Feels pretty good. <laughs> Feels pretty good. It doesn't have to be fast, you know, you don't have to does be fast. It does have to be fast. This here's, time to slide. Wait, here's my other question. What? We're good. I wanted to know so if I need to drill a hole. All right. Okay. Hold all right, right. all right, all right. I'll glue this piece on or should I nail the feet on first? Let me nail the feet on first. I don't know. Are you gonna have to I think dry. really crank that thing down? Crank it down on what? I think uh, either bottom, way. Right? Yes, that's the bottom. I mean, it's not holding a real 16-inch sign. It's just gonna hold a little 12 or. Why are you dainty with the glue? Why are you so heavy with the glue? <laughs> Don't be a gorilla with the glue, kid. <laughs> I just think it needs to get all the way out here to the edges. Oh yeah, I guess it does need to be out on the edge. All right. Oh my goodness, this is so cute already. All right, it looks good. Should I try to flip it? Yes. <laughs> you gotta take it weightless to give it a good flipping. What, you I, think it moved? Uh, oh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, Let's just turn it back over. Okay, yeah. This, oh, okay, never mind. That's a piece that I can't fix. It's actually a little further this side than it is this side. Where? This is closer to here than it is here. 
On what, this piece uh -huh. or this? The column on this block. You think so? I do. I think we're gonna have to measure. <laughs> okay. Pr pretty dead eye over here, Kim. Oh, dead eye. All right. All right, I'll see if this thing will fit in there. All right, do you want to put a little wood glue in there? Not yet, let me see if it'll screw in. We're just winging this part. Oh, wait, I think I got it. Did it grip it? Oh, look there, that's great. All right, all right, you want to put a little glue on there now? On the base of the finial. Yeah. That way nobody can steal my finial. Don't be trying to take my finial. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he was hiding it. <laughs> it's like a magic trick. Is he actually screwing it or not? Why is it crooked? It'll, it'll well, even it'll out. It'll even out. It'll even out. All right. It'll even out. There we go. Oh, look at that. There we go. Look at this little column. That's beautiful. Now we just need to put, add... Put a hook on this thing? Yeah, so we got a couple different ones of Hobby Lobby. I really like this one, this should be the front. but it's a little wider than the column, so I don't think I can use that. No. No, I don't think so. All right, well, this one is... You probably didn't need to go to Hobby Lobby for this because it's pretty basic and we're going to need two tiny screws. Probably though. could have done just thumbtack. Probably. <laughs> I, didn't, uh, I didn't grab any screws. It didn't come with screws. So I guess we got to go look for some screws. No, oh, I'll go find some screws. No, yeah, let me hold it. Let me hold it. Yeah. As a matter of fact, why don't we glue it? All right, yeah. Sounds good. They say right about there. Sounds good. Where's your sign? Right over there. You want to hold it up? You want me to test it? Yeah. I wasn't sure how long my hanger should be. Hold on. Okay. Maybe up just a wee bit if it'll go. And done. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Goodness, that is so cute. That's perfect. Yeah, that does look perfect. Hold on. Give us a second. Okay. In my uh, yeah. own work. That looks good. <laughs> I like the little feet. Feet really set it up. The whole thing sets it off. I like it. What do you think? Came out pretty nice, right? Yes. Pretty easy also. Yeah, I think so. While we were putting this together, I was talking to Garrett. I think this would be a great workshop. Yeah, I definitely think this would be a great workshop. It was easy. It was quick. It's one cut. I think this is perfect for a workshop. And there's and so then many different ways you can come in and do the 10 inch signs to hang there. Oh, yeah. So many different ways you could do it. We can give them different finial tops and stuff. And I think if you price it right, I think you could do like a monogram, 10 inch yep. monogram to start get, with. You could probably do the monogram and the post in the 90 minute period. Mm -hmm. I think that's doable. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we are about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it and make it again. <laughs> Hold my beer, Kim. <laughs> Ooh, I think I can flip it over. Yes, go for it. I'll let you flip this one. I really thought you'd catch it with your finger. Oh, you think I can? Yeah, I can. Ready? Mm-hmm.
Ooh, ooh, oh, I'll take it. <laughs>